So we're doing another walk through our uh, fly tent here, our carrot tent, just to check on our fly population. And a couple things that I'm looking for, as I've mentioned before, one, I'm looking for the number of flies on the umbels. And every giant umbel I see has multiple flies on it. Five there, five there. I saw some over here, but they seem to be gone. I'm seeing lots of flies up in the corners as well. They tend to like the corners. I'm seeing them all down here in this pole here. I'm also seeing a few different types of flies. I'm seeing blue, I'm seeing green, greenish yellow, some bigger flies, some smaller flies. So this might be one of the advantages of trapping our own flies is we're actually going to get more than if we just ordered the blue bottle fly uh, pupae. So here's a really good example of a, of a really, really good umbel there. Just going to kind of take a walk through here. As I go through and brush stuff, I know the fl most of the flies are going to fly off the flower and likely they're going to go to another one. So that should encourage a bit of cross-pollinating here. The plants are staying fairly well upright at this point, which is good. They're only staked on one side, so I'll probably do another staking later in this week just to make sure they don't sort of collapse and fill in this path. Here's another really, really nice looking umbel here. With lots of flies on it. Seeing more flies up in the corners here. And lots of flies up here. And if you remember from a previous video, we've got a whole bunch of maggots buried in here as well. So in a couple of weeks, we're going to get another emergence. So really very minimal effort, uh, I think, overall to get these flies here. So there's some that, sort of, that are sort of reddish in color. So a, a good diversity of flies, a good population in here. They're very active. It's about 9.30 in the morning, uh, almost 10 o'clock. So we'll just be keeping an eye to make sure pollination is actually happening. There's a guy right there. So yeah, just really, really happy with this so far. Um, and one of the reasons we want to try breeding our own flies is so we have a, a certain amount of independence or sovereignty uh, in, in producing seed in an isolation structure like this. And we're not sort of um, bound to order pupae or flies from somewhere else, which obviously is a, gives us a bit of a vulnerability if that source dries up. As well, the current source we have is in the United States. Uh, shipping here is a bit of a hassle and it's expensive. And this is already paid for itself if, if these flies are able to continue at this rate. So really, really happy with our fly breeding in here so far.